integrative medicine, it's, I look at it as a relationship working on this healing journey between patient and providers. So it's a process. Look at the patient as a whole person, not just because they have a label of diagnosis. Integrative medicine is really um, emphasizes that therapeutic relationship between patient and practitioner. And we look at all aspects of health and wellness, mind, body, spirit, really emphasizing lifestyle aspects to create an individualized plan for patients that's personalized and gives them the best chance of attaining resilience, wellness, vitality in their life. First of all, I always ask patients what they would like to get out of integrated medicine uh, consultation. What, what's their concern? What is the symptom they want to address? What did they try it before? To do a basic assessment evaluation to see what's out there. I think with the integrative medicine program, it's not just treating only the cancer, it's treating me as a whole person that has other needs as well. In, in terms of being able to sleep and cope on a daily basis with fear and anxiety that come along with this diagnosis. What you can expect when you come for an integrative medicine consultation is a pretty good long sit down and conversation about really centered around you and all your uniqueness and really getting to know who you are. So we might ask about how you grew up and childhood experiences that you had. We want to know certainly who does the shopping and cooking and what kinds of things do you eat? What's physical activity like? How's sleep in your life? What, what are your biggest stressors? Um, who's your support system? You know, who's involved in your life? Um, and all of these things are designed to really help us get a much better understanding of who you are so we can personalize an integrative medicine approach to get you the best health and wellness. I think integrative medicine adds an enormous amount of value for a patient on the cancer journey because it focuses on, really, I leave the oncology part in the expert's hand and I focus on the other 99% of the patient in making their body so well and so vital um, and so resilient that then they can get through treatment more fluidly. We address some of the other issues of stress and anxiety that you know are part of this journey along the way, as well as we deal with any side effects of treatment with some of the different modalities at our disposal. We may consider things like acupuncture, or yoga therapy, or oncology massage therapy along the way as needed. Well, so far I've learned about ear massage and tapping. I'm doing some acupressure points to help me sleep. I'm gonna try tart cherry juice instead of melatonin. And we're gonna look into some other aspects of dealing with pain and, and the fear of MBC. Um, so basically, I'm, I'm just learning that there's gonna be a lot more options available to me to help me deal with this through integrative medicine. I'm hoping to learn more about myself as a whole body system to help um, have a better quality of life while I'm living and learning to live with this disease. When I work with patients um, and we've, you know, modified some things and they come back to me, especially when people, you know, come with a lot of anxiety and fear about either their diagnosis or what stage of the journey they're in, and we're able to transform that into profound gratitude and meaning in their lives and connection with the people they love, um, that's, that's really rewarding for me. The best part is very rewarding to see how patients are doing better.